The stuff. title is important. The title's important. Is the title important? Well, or? only if you want to sell books. <laughs> I mean, I, I look, I, I'm going to be real. Like when I when I wrote my first book, Grant Cardone inspired me to do it. And I have a video, I don't, it's somewhere, of Grant in a swimming pool in Los Angeles going, Ken Walls, hey, I heard you wrote, your first book came out, man. Congratulations. You know, and I'm like, wow. Did, um, did you take that? Yeah. Rip it out? And use it for the uh, for the push to sell the book. I I use him like a hoe. Like <laughs> <laughs> anytime he says my name, like I I rip it out and use it. That's awesome. Um, but you know, my first book when I wrote it, I was like, you know, I honestly don't care if anybody ever buys it. Single copy. I truly didn't care. Really, I did not care. And and it's interesting. And you know this about mm -hmm. life. When you obsess, there's a great book that I read, I've read many times called Power Versus Force. And, and, um, I'm, gonna, I'm, 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 I'm saying, I'm telling him to save that because I want to, I'm going to want to read that book. You now. might want to do some cocaine before you read it. No, I'm kidding. But, but it's, it, he, you know, it's very, it's a very deep book. It's about kinesiology, which is muscle testing. And, um, but he, he says in there that anytime we, try to force something, we automatically create resistance universally, right? This Just is true. Cr create resistance. If I push against you, you're going to push back. That's right. Real power, and this goes back even into the ancient studies of martial arts, real power comes from surrender. So if if I am coming at you and 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 you like, you know, tense up and mm -hmm you're creating resistance and you know bad things can happen probably more to me you're 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 right. bigger than me um and much younger and sure more agile um but not, but 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 you know if 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 you just like let me go by then you know so it comes from the surrender when i said i don't give a crap if anybody buys this book um i did a a, a little 6 hour live stream when my book launched on October the 6th of 2017. And um, it hit number one on Amazon. Wow. In, in that period of time. So, and I just didn't care though. I really didn't. I mean, I did, but I didn't. I, I don't even know if that makes sense, but I didn't care about it. I just wanted to join the ranks of people that had written a book. And now you're in there. Got eight books. I've ri I've written and co-authored. I've authored and co-authored eight books. Working on the ninth with okay. with a. Um, you want to hear the title of my newest book I coming do. out? It's freaking awesome. So I had this lady on my my podcast, my show. What what is that called? Breakthrough Walls. I, I got a story about that. Okay. We'll talk about that in a minute. So I had this lady on. She's a psychiatrist or a psychologist, and. Um, She's in um, Connecticut. Love this woman's energy. She's amazing. So she says, I want to write a book with you. And I said, okay, let's do it. Because I'd say yes. Like you yeah, asked yeah. me if mm -hmm. I, I yes. yeah. I don't, never met you in person, never been right. to wherever we are. Um, I We're think, in a dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Well, but I never, and screw it, let's do it, let's go. So, um I came up with the book title. It's called Premeditated Alibis. So, so for example, for example, if I said to you, Corey, you need to write a book. Let's go. It's mm -hmm. five grand, whatever, yeah. ten grand, twenty, hundred grand, whatever it is, it doesn't matter because as Grant says, the money, the numbers are all made up anyway, right? right? Immediately, your brain starts making up all the reasons why you can't do it. Immediately, we all do it. Mm -hmm. They're premeditated alibis. And and it wasn't it's not even something that's original. Somebody else taught you to do that shit. Am I allowed did I I just swore I don't. No, no, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> we're 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 a kid friendly podcast. Okay. Okay. All my kids cuss. Not uh -oh. today. <laughs> So, but yeah, anyway, so that's, it's about, you know, helping people stop making up alibis. Mm -hmm. I moved to Texas, man. There's no rhyme or reason in the world for me to move to Dallas. Like there's no. It's a pretty good spot though. I mean, it is. It's awesome. I love it here. It's 76 degrees today, y'all. It is. Notice how I said y'all. Did you're, I say it right? In, you're, 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 you're acclimated. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. It, it, I mean, it is an amazing day. So premeditated alibis. Yep. We had a conversation down in the lobby about a book. I gave him all my premeditated alibis. He did. They, I, they weren't but, very good. But. No, they weren't. But, uh, I mean, I wasn't squirming around. He hadn't even told me the price. I wasn't squirming uh, at the price. I was just like, I, know, uh, no, I was just I know. physically thinking about having to write a book. I was like. It's not the price. that It's not money. It's not it's not a money. If I could hire somebody to write a book, that's. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, I can hire you to help me write a book. Yeah. Will yeah. I actually have to take out a pen and put it to paper? No. 